and hospitals scrambling to keep up with the pace of COVID-19 patients flooding in. And officials with Metro Detroit Health System say we are on the front end of a surge. 7 Action reporter Brian Abel is live with a look at what hospitals are doing right now, Brian. Alan, it's a little bit of a shell game, moving patients from one hospital to another in the system to try to free up space. Two Metro Detroit hospitals at capacity right now with another surge expected. Henry Ford Health System today in a conference call. Brian Abel with WXYZ here. How close is the hospital to capacity at this point? We've had uh, a significant surge, as you know, uh, in Wayne County and Oakland County. Today our capacity is quite full in, this, in those two uh, hospitals, especially the West Bloomfield and the Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit. So we've had surgical cases moved from the Henry Ford Hospital campus to our, one of our other campuses. We fortunately have the luxury of having uh, some additional capacity right now on some of our campuses. With two hospitals at capacity and nearly 600 COVID-19 positive patients across the system, Henry Ford moving resources to keep capacity open elsewhere. Henry Ford Macomb Hospital has converted eight operating rooms into a um, 16 bed COVID uh, unit. And then Henry Ford Wyandotte Hospital is converting its surgical units to a dedicated uh, COVID-19 unit, doubling its intensive care beds to 32. Beaumont also seeing a surge with roughly the same nearly 600 coronavirus positive patients with roughly 100 more each day, making the most of what its system has available. But last night we converted again two units of Royal Oak to uh, COVID units and uh, that hospital now has nine dedicated to COVID-19 patients. We'll converting our ORs to ICUs. Both hospitals in dire need of personal protection equipment and closely monitoring their ventilator reserves. Beaumont urging Governor Whitmer to invoke the Medical Coordination Center powers to spread patients across the state's health care systems. We can't have people drive by a hospital that may have 10% capacity more uh, for ventilators or other things COVID patients need, and then pull up into an ER of a hospital that's super saturated. And with such a lack of testing, health officials say that it's really hard to predict how many people will be in this next surge, how many patients, but they do say that they expect challenges to run into April. Alan? All right, Brian, thank you for that live report.